Hello everyone, it is Michael here from Michael Loves Crafts for another video. And today we're gonna to be using some Simon Hurley Create products along with the Rena K Electro Pop Neon Enamels from Deco Foil. So first we're gonna start out stamping out that little surfer dude and the surfboard on some Not Your Mama's 100 pound 30 card stock from Brutus Monroe. I'm also going to use two different background stamps. The first is the Wild Wave stamp, and this comes apart in three pieces. I'm only going to use the centerpiece in this video. And then we are going to use the Painted Lines background stamp for the background of our card base. I think it adds a nice touch and it makes a really simple background. And lastly, we're gonna use the Shell and Mask stencil because I think it's really fun and it really adds to this project. So like I said, the first thing that I did was I took the piece of cardstock and I stamped out the little surfer guy. I stamped out the surfboard and I took some colored pencils and colored that in. I used several different colors and then I took a blending stump and some Gamsol and blended that all together so it's a nice smooth finish. And then the opposite side of this paper, I took two different blues from Simon's Line and a green and blended those together kind of create like a sea foam look. And then I stamped out the waves stamp and used white alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe to give it a little bit of texture. And then directly onto the card base, I took the painted line stamp and stamped that in the psych color of ink. And then I took the shell stencil and did the background pieces in the three coordinating colors, pink, green, and orange. And then over top of that, I took the, jet, the decafoil transfer gel blanco it's a brand new color it dries completely white and i stenciled the details over that and what i like about this is it has a white cap on it so you can always tell which one is which. it's going to be really nice with the enamel because it's really going to make those neons pop which you'll see a little later in this video so i then took a little sentiment from the stamp surfs up and put it on a die cut circle on yellow paper and then I just clear heat embossed over that. So off screen, I'm gonna go ahead and cut these images out for you. And now you see that I have done that by the magic of YouTube. I trimmed everything down. I glued the little surfer dude onto his surfboard. So you'll see whenever we uh, attach him to the card, it'll be nice and easy. I actually took the little surfboard stamp. It's the smaller surfboard piece from that stamp set to create that those lines over top of the sentiment. I think it just added a little bit more, made it a little more exciting. So next, I told you we were gonna use the Rena K enamels. So here I have the poppin' pink, the screaming green, and the orange glow already cut into a small little piece that's gonna fit directly on top of our shell. So basically what we're gonna do, I have the laminator already heated up. I'm gonna take some purple tape and just pop these enamels right onto the card base. And then what we'll do is run this through the laminator. And once we peel it off, it's gonna add a really cool neon pop, like a nail, it almost looks like gel nail polish, to be honest, once it's done right over top of all that detailing that's currently in white. So we're also going to attach the surfer dude today with a little bobble so he can move. It'll almost look like he's riding the wave. So I thought that was a fun little detail today. Um, but yeah, so basically you just want to tape that on, make sure it's covered. I like to make sure that the tape is not covering the actual part that will adhere. I don't know if that makes a difference. It's just a personal preference. So as soon as I have all of this taped together, I'm going to grab the carrier sheet and then I will place this into the laminator. And it's really quick, it doesn't take very long at all. So you just pop it in, it's nice and held down, and then we can slip it right into the laminator. And as soon as it comes out, it'll be nice and ready for us to finish this card. I think these enamels are so fun. So this is the bobble piece that I was telling you about. So basically I'm gonna attach it to the back of the head because that's the that's really the only place we can put it because it is kind of large. So all you do for a bobble is to just 
peel off the backing, it's self-adhesive, and then you just stick it to whatever component of your card that you want to make move. So it can, it'll shake around, and you'll see that at, later in this video. It's really fun. It adds a little bit of interaction to your project, and I think that specifically with this surfboard and these waves, that it's a really good addition to this card. So I'm just getting ready to pull out the card base that we enameled. And as you can see there, I have the little bobble attached to the little guy's head. So whenever we're ready to place him onto the card, you just peel off the other backing and stick it right onto your card. And see how he moves there? Isn't that so much fun? I think these things are really great. Okay, so here is the big moment. I love this enamel. I think it's great. I got to meet Rena this year at Creativation, and that's where I was introduced to this product. And we do, Brutus Monroe does currently carry the enamel. She also has flock and coordinating colors. There is also a yellow color that I did not use in this project, but it's a really nice bright yellow. So basically, you want to peel this back just want to pull up the tape and you kind of want to like roll it back. You don't want to rip it off like a band-aid. I think that um, it works better if you slowly peel this off just because you want to make sure it's all there. So if you can see in the top at the corner there, there's a little bit of green enamel on the card. That's because when I was stenciling the gel, I got a little bit on the card and tried to wipe it off. Clearly I didn't get it all off, but that's okay. We're going to cover that right up with the sentiment and everything will be fine. Nothing's perfect. No one ever has to be perfect. Don't forget that. And again, you guys, you don't have to get all of these things to make fun cards like this. You know, you can just do whatever you want. But I really enjoy showing you the new stuff because I think it's really, really fun. Look at that when you peel it back. It's such a nice bright of orange. It adds such a contrast to that shell. It really makes those pop right into the background. And as you can see there, all of that enamel came off perfectly right onto the shell. And it's just, I think it's so cool. It's such a different product. It doesn't work like deco foil does. So you won't be able to use it with a toner sheet. You do have to use the gel with this. But there are instructions on the back of the package that are very helpful to you. And there's tons of tutorials on YouTube on how to use this stuff. And I'm sure there'll be plenty more to come. And see, I'm pointing out there where we kind of, that up a little bit but like I said we're going to cover it no problem so now I'm just going to take a little bit of tape runner and put some adhesive on the back of the wave piece and as soon as that's done I'm going to just pop that right onto the front of the card at the bottom to kind of create the base of where the surfer guy will be surfing so after that's on we are going to pick up our little guy and like I said, you just peel off the back of the bobble. It's self-adhesive and super, super simple. If you can see that there, you just peel that piece right off. And you can kind of stick it. So I wanted him kind of a little sideways a little bit. So whenever he starts to move, it actually looks like he's in the wave. So you can see that. Isn't that so fun? I'll show you more at the end. So then I had already put two foam squares on the back of this sentiment. So I'm just gonna pick those off and we're gonna pop our sentiment down. And that is gonna be it, you guys. This was um, a super fun card to make. There were some steps involved because there's drying time with the gel and all that stuff, but it it was definitely worth it. First, I thought about maybe trying it there, but then I remember that we I made a little boo-boo on the top. So I'm going to just kind of place that right around the top there. I don't want to cover up those shells too much because the neons are super fun there. So I'm just going to press that down and we have a completed card. So I will show you here how you see, you see it moving. Look at that. It's so much fun. So it really looks like our little guy is actually surfing the waves. I'm really excited about it. So again, thank you guys for watching. If you want any of these products, Simons are available at Ranger. Brutus and Rowe has the Rena K enamels. And have a great day, guys. Thanks.